Well, this is a day I'll not soon forget. I've seen a few things in my time, but I've not flown on an eagle's back till today. Well, now that it's a bit easier to talk, let me thank you properly for saving our lives and bid you welcome to Norinbad, our home. Nordry's father, the Lord Gorham, will want to speak with you. Nordry's gone ahead to report on the Gundabad raid and to tell him about everything you did for us. We are pleased to be made welcome here, but in the rush of battle and our hurried escape, I fear we missed your name. Oh, confound me for an old fool! Bruni, son of Bane, at your service and your families. I'm captain of the Nordenbad Guard and a servant of Lord Gorin. We traveled many leagues over many high mountains to reach this place. I know we traveled east, but beyond that, I am not certain where we may be. Aye, it's east you've come. Clean over the Misty Mountains and along the length of the Grey Mountains. You've left the land of Eriador behind. You're on the northern edge of the land of Rovanion now. We would be pleased to speak with Lord Gorin. Just make your way past the doors you see yonder and you'll find him within. The guards have been instructed to let you pass. I suspect I'm the first man to see the inside of these halls. I am certain I'm the first elf to do so. Sire, those I spoke of. Allow me to present to kinsmen, Far and the Berrimor, and also Andriel and Eridan, his companions. We succeeded in our task, and I live to tell of it, thanks only to their aid. You are most welcome here, kinsmen, and no less so your companions, be they man, elf, or eagle. Welcome all to Nordenbad, last hall of the Longbeards in the Grey Mountains. You have returned to me, my son and my oldest friend, whom already I mourned as lost. For this, you will forever have my gratitude and the hospitality of these halls. Know that this is not something lightly given, for never before have we allowed any but our own folk to pass these gates, and no eyes have gazed upon the hidden lake of Azanzaram, save those of our close kindred. And for what you have done, I will gladly lay aside our ancient oath of secrecy. Your warriors struck a heavy blow against the orcs of Gundabad, but the cost was great. These walls of yours are both high and strong. Why not wait for the enemy to spend their strength against them? Were we dealing with the host of Gundabad alone, we would have done just that. We have repulsed many orc attacks in the past, but this time their numbers were far too great. Orcs and goblins have been pouring into Gundabad from every pit and cave in that world. We struck them a heavy blow, but even so, we'll still be hard pressed if they move against us here. Now you know why my people were at Gundabad. I cannot help but wonder what brought the three of you there. We were hunting a black-hearted servant of the enemy. He goes by the name of Agendauer. Agendauer? We are familiar with that one. Curse his black heart. He appeared before our gates some weeks past and called us to parley in the name of Sauron the Great, so he said. A parley? For what purpose? He demanded that we yield ourselves up to the mercy of Sauron. As if there was any mercy in the Dark Lord. He lays claim to Nordrumad, telling us if we turn over our halls and riches without a fight, our lives will be spared, and we will be free to seek a new home elsewhere. Of course, we would have nothing of that. When we defied him, he grew wrathful, threatening us with the fiery doom that overtook our ancestors. What could he want with Nordenbad? Please pardon me, Lord Gorin, but these halls are very remote. Is it wealth he seeks? Nay, hey, Lord and Bad provides for our needs, but never have we considered it rich, save in beauty. I fear he may have allied himself with the dragon Orgast, who dwells in these parts. With such a beast at his command, we would have little hope of resisting him. Then would it not be best to destroy this dragon before he can be used as a weapon? Huh. Destroy Orgast? If only it were that simple. The attack on Gundabad would be a peaceful stroll around the lake in comparison. Nay, if it were so easy to slay dragons, there would be many more dwarves still dwelling in these mountains. Urgost has never taken notice of us before. We rather hoped it would stay that way. They say it does not pay to leave a live dragon out of your calculations. 
if you live near one. We can't let Agendauer have such a beast under his command. Even Imlodris would be no haven against Dragonfire. Where will we find Urgost? You do not lack for courage, I will grant you. Yet we know not where the dragon dwells. No dwarf has discovered his lair and lived to tell of it. Perhaps Radagast knows this secret, or can discover it. Seems there is little that happens in Wilderland that escapes his notice. You speak of Radagast the Brown, one of the Astari, the Order of Wizards. So you know him, do you? We have never met, yet often I have heard him spoken of. He is said to be skilled in the lore of all herbs and beasts, especially birds. Do you know where he may be found? He dwells within the forest of Mirkwood, away to the south. Perhaps your companion Belaram would know where to find him, for it is said that Radagast is a friend to the Lord of Eagles himself. We should travel to Mirkwood. If Radagast knows as much as you say, it is certain to be worthwhile. Indeed. But before you set out, please accept a token of our gratitude. Seek out my steward, Galar. I have instructed him to open our vaults to you. I believe you may find something within that will be of service in the days ahead. I never thought to find such comforts within walls of cold stone. Mirkwood is a place I prefer to fly over, not into. We are ready to go. You know Radagast well. The brown wizard has been a close friend of the eagles since he first came to Middle Earth and settled into the forest that is now called Mirkwood, even before it came to have that dark name. That was long before I was born, but I have visited with him many times in his home at Rosgabel when I would bring him news from afar. But I have not seen him since he abandoned Rosgabel. Radagast lived there for centuries. Why would he abandon it? He was gone from his home before I could ask. But there has been a growing threat and darkness in the south of Mirkwood. I believe Rosgabel is no longer safe, even for a wizard. But fear not. I know Radagast's favored places in the north of Mirkwood. We will find him, or I will bring you to a place you are likely to find him at the very least. Then we must travel to Mirkwood. We will be ready. No one can help him now, and no one can help you.
Well done, my friends. That one will spread his veil of lies no more. Yet I fear this was no chance meeting. If Wolfram was here, it could mean trouble for Radagast. You should press on and find him. How far are we from the wizard's dwelling? It is difficult to say for certain. Even the eyes of an eagle cannot pierce the interwoven boughs of Mirkwood, and clearings are few in this wood. We will find him, but what about you? Are you hurt? The beast did its damage, but not enough to keep me from the air. I will be fully recovered soon enough. We will continue the search on foot. Should we look for you here once we have found him? No, I must find my companions. They are probably worried about me. Together, we will keep watch from above. Radagast has many friends among the birds of Mirkwood. If you find him, he can send a message to us easily enough. Very well. Good luck, Balaram. I don't like the look of this Mirkwood. I wish our path would have led us elsewhere. Why would Radagast choose to make his home in such a place? They say that Mirkwood was not always like this. It was fair enough before the shadow of the Dark Lord fell over it. That shadow lies here still. Look, there! Warg! <laughs> That's done it. Now the whole forest knows we're here. Let's go. The warg that one hears is worse than the orc that one fears. True, but where the warg howls, there also the orc prowls. An encampment of orcs. Be watchful. The wargs have given away our presence. They don't like this. Keep your eyes open.
Just what I needed. This had a spurious beautiful and useful as well. What are these things? They look like eggs. Insect eggs, maybe. But so many. And so large. See if you can take me! I will take this. Giant spiders! I cannot do that yet! I need more time! <laughs> Gather this. Come on, you faint hearted scum. We must be nearing Radagast's home. Enemy archers! On the high ground! Come <laughs> on. 
looks peaceful enough. Then what did the sorcerer mean when he said we were too late? Perhaps he was only trying to discourage us. Radagast, are you here? Is that a staff on the ground? These woods are thick with the Urukai. Listen, they're all around us. On the hunt for something. Radagast, perhaps. We must find him before the orcs do. Wait. There are many spider tracks leading deeper into the woods. 
moved. It appears as if they were tracking I see movement something. in the trees. I fear it could be Radagast, but whether he was living or dead, I cannot say. You're no match for me! on through this marsh. These webs are arranged for defense. We are nearing the spider's lair.
The trail leads down there. I'm sure of it. The wizard! The wizard? No, no, my dears. That is food. He says the wizard must die. Take him and devour him. He commands. And so I shall. But not yet. Not yet. Let him hang a bit first. Let him await my pleasure. <sighs> but the wizard alone is barely a meal for one such as myself. Now, poor, poor. Need a little help. Help me. Carefully. Let him down slowly now. He yet lives. Aye, and he's coming around. Ooh. Radagast, are you well? Oh, what a thoroughly unpleasant experience. I shall have more pity for flies in the future. How did you come to be in this bind? Sanathra snatched me. Took me unawares, I'm afraid. I really didn't expect to encounter anything of her sort in this corner of the wood. No, not at all. You see, I came here to get away from trouble. Darkness is spreading across Mirkwood. A, a, a darker than usual darkness, I mean. And it's coming from Dol Guldur in the south. Roscobel, my usual home, lies a little too close to Dol Guldur for comfort. So I came here. I have several such retreats. You can never be too prepared living in Mirkwood and all. But do I know you? No, Radagast. But you do know me. Ah, young Bellarum, it's a pleasure to see you. So you are a part of this little party, too? <laughs> it's quite a mixed bag, really. I don't see elves, dwarves, and men rubbing elbows often, especially not in Mirkwood. <laughs> now add an eagle as well. This is turning out to be a rather extraordinary day, really, all things considered. I am just glad we came in time. My friends and I have a mission. And we came seeking your aid. We must find the dragon Urgost who dwells in the Grey Mountains. But we don't have a lot of time to spend looking. We were told you might be able to help us find him. You wish to find a dragon? Oh dear, is that really wise? Wise or not, that is our mission. Do you know where the dragon dwells? Well, he's a dragon. So I would say the Grey Mountains. Uh... Yes, that we know. But do you know where in the Grey Mountains? I haven't the foggiest notion, really. It seems we were misinformed. Ah, now, not so fast. I may not know where Urgos dwells, but I just might be able to find out. Well, but I would need my staff for that, and I, I seem to have mislaid it somewhere. We found your staff, and brought it along with us. I knew you would have need of it once we found you. Ah, oh, excellent. Aren't you the clever one? <laughs> Crafty as a fox in your own fashion, too, I can tell. I'm grateful to you.
Well then, let's see what we can find out, shall we? My friends might know a thing or two. for me, little one? Ah. I see, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Very brave of you. Well done, my friend. And there you have it. Uh, perhaps you could explain further for those of us who do not speak the language of swallows. Oh, you don't? Quite a pity, really. They're rather pleasant little fellows. Always something nice to say. Well, what did this one have to say? Quite a bit, actually. Here, let me show you. Have you considered my offer? I will have your price soon enough. Think carefully before you spurn this offer, dragon. As mighty as you are, you would do well not to offend my master. I did not say I refused. Only that you must first achieve my reward before you can give it. Ah, formality. I go now to take your price, but I will leave men behind to await your answer. Consider well, but not too long. My time and my thoughts are my own to spend. For now. <laughs> <laughs>